Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did judicial review increase the power of the Supreme Court? Judicial review, the power of the courts to declare laws and government actions unconstitutional, was established by the landmark case Marbury v. Madison in 1803. This case marked a significant shift in the balance of power among the branches of the U.S. government. In Marbury v. Madison, Chief Justice John Marshall argued that the Constitution is a superior, paramount law that cannot be altered by ordinary legislative acts. The court ruled that it had the authority to review acts of Congress and declare them unconstitutional if they conflicted with the Constitution. This decision set a precedent that the Supreme Court has the final say on the interpretation of the Constitution. Over time, this power has been expanded and reinforced through various decisions. For instance, the court has used its judicial review power to strike down laws that it deemed unconstitutional, even when these laws were passed by Congress and signed by the president. The concept of judicial supremacy, which holds that the Supreme Court has the ultimate authority on constitutional interpretation, has been a central theme in this expansion. This notion was further solidified by the Warren Court in the 1950s and 1960s, particularly in cases like Brown v. Board of Education and Cooper v. Aaron, where the court asserted its supremacy in interpreting the Constitution. The Supreme Court's aggressive use of judicial review has allowed it to intervene in a wide range of policy areas, often overriding the decisions of the legislative and executive branches. This includes striking down laws related to campaign finance, voting rights, and environmental protection, among others. These actions have significantly restricted the ability of Congress and administrative agencies to enforce laws and policies. The court's power has also been enhanced by its ability to define its own jurisdiction. Article three of the Constitution gives Congress the power to limit the jurisdiction of the federal courts. But the court has often interpreted this broadly to assert its authority over a wide range of cases. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.